SwiftUI's group view is commonly used to work around the 10 child view limit, but it also has an important behavior. It acts as a transparent layout container. This means you can create a series of views inside a group, then wrap that group in different stacks to get different behaviors. For example, we could make a user view with a group containing three text views. Struct user view conforms to view, var body some view, then a group, text name Paul, text country England, text pets Luna, Aria and Toby. That group contains no layout information, so we don't know whether the three text fields will be stacked vertically, horizontally or by depth. This is where the transparent layout behavior of group becomes important. Whatever parent places a user view gets to decide how its text views be arranged. For example, we could create a content view like this. At state, private var layout vertically equals false. Group, if layout vertically, a v stack with user view. Else, a h stack with user view. Then an on tap gesture, self dot layout vertically dot toggle. That flips between vertical and horizontal layout every time the group is tapped. Now you might wonder how often you have to have alternative layouts like this, but the answer might surprise you. It's really common. You see, this is exactly what you want to happen when using size classes, because you can write code to show horizontal layout when there's lots of horizontal space, but switch to a vertical layout when space is reduced. So we could rewrite our previous example like this. At environment, horizontal size class, var size class. Group, if size class is equal to compact, then vstack, user view, else hstack, user view. Now in situations like this, where you only have one view inside a stack and it takes no parameters, you can actually pass the views initializer directly to the vstack to make your code shorter. We could say vstack content user view dot init or hstack content user view dot init. I know short code isn't everything, but this technique is pleasingly concise when you're using this approach to group view layout.